dear students welcome back to my channel once again my name is nilakshi singh and today i am here with a new video for you all today i am going to teach a new chapter which is control and coordination from class 10 curriculum so children uh, you all tell me first of all what is control and coordination very simple term control and coordination yes so starting with it first of all i would like to ask you some question uh, my first question for you is what are living beings yes what are living organisms how do we categorize living and non living organisms so yes i hope all of you know that living organisms are made up of cells yes as we did in class 9 also that living organisms are made up of cells yes and all living things have certain characteristics due to which we have all arranged them accordingly into a, a different category which is a, like living beings yes living and non living are two different kind of things that we read in biology yes so first of all living things are those which reproduce which breathe which basically they move yes the first and foremost characteristic of living beings is that they move yes like i am also moving my arms i am moving my hands i am speaking yes and you are also like right now holding uh, your either mobile phones in your hands or your tablets or you are watching tv blinking your eyes and all isn't it so all these are kind of movements yes so yes living things first of all they breathe they grow they reproduce they move their body parts and of course they do locomotion and many other things are also there many other characteristics characteristics are also there uh, in which we basically include living things depending upon those characteristics we actually consider some things as living and some things as non living isn't it for example this is a board it is not moving i am holding a marker it will not move unless or until i'll drop it isn't it yes so living organisms as i told you they grow they move etc yes so now what is basically the control uh, center of uh, living beings yes what is the control center who is controlling all those movements or whatever we are speaking for example i'm talking to you right now what is the organ which is the organ or which is the organ system that is controlling our movements yes or which is the organ in our body or which is the organ system that is basically helping us to do one thing or one task or the other task yes as we all know that we have different different organ systems in our bodies isn't it yes so one of those organ system is our nervous system okay the main the most primary organ that is basically responsible for for all our body movements for our actions for like we are speaking we are talking to someone we are doing any kind of activity if it is normal our nervous system regulates it okay i i hope you all know that our nervous system basically comprises of right now i'm talking about humans we'll slowly and gradually move to the next part of the chapter in which we'll talk about plants as well yes so first of all what is nervous system and it comprises of which or which uh, all organs we have basically brain yes the first main important uh, organ of our nervous system is brain yes next we have nerves next we have spinal cord yes also we have nerve cells okay basically brain and spinal cord are two main organs which are basically uh, like you can say they are coordinating with each other for sending some messages for example if my brain is telling me to move my arm like this or to move my hand like this or for example i'm eating something or i'm drinking a glass of water 
that means our brain is actually giving messages to my body parts to move those body parts and to do that task that I want. Isn't it? Like if our brain will not uh, convey any message or will not tell us to do that work, we will not be able to even respond to anybody. Okay, or to do any kind of action. Yes, so basically our brain and spinal cord are two main organs of our nervous system. In humans I am talking about right now. Okay, next we have basically brain in our head. Yes, in our uh, like in our head, head region, there is brain inside it. In our back region, we have spinal cord. Yes, backbone is bolte hai. We have inside it, we have spinal cord. Okay, now brain and spinal cord are attached to each other through our neck region. Inside it, we have vertebras in our spinal cord, which basically they like they connect our spinal cord and our brain. Yes. But as I told you that brain is the organ which is responsible for all our body movements or for, for every action that we do, any kind of movement that we do or any kind of task that we perform, our brain is responsible. How does our brain send messages now? Yes, for example, I am calling someone through my phone. Yes, or I am sending messages. There is some medium of communication like we are communicating with each other. So there is something, maybe a network of wires you can say or maybe some something through which we will send the signals. Isn't it? So basically brain is also sending the signal to our body part. From where? Which thing is responsible in our body that brain is sending messages and I am now able to move my hand. Who, who basically gave me the message? Brain only. Yes, but with the help of these nerves. We have nerves all around our body. Okay, in our body, in every kind of muscle, we have nerves. Okay, I, as I told you that I am able to move my arm like this. For example, I am holding a glass of water in my hand. Now I am going to drink. Yes, so my arm will move like this. Isn't it? Now, there are muscles inside my arms. We all know that we have muscles in our bodies. Yes, so when we will move our muscles, how does that message, it gets conveyed? How does our arm, is how, how is our arm moving and how I am able to drink that glass of water? So it is all basically a whole mechanism which is, which comes under our nervous system. Okay, so in this chapter now you must uh, be knowing that we are now going to start which topic of this chapter. Yes, we are going to start our human nervous system basically. But uh, before that I would like to explain you the topic of the chapter, name of the chapter in detail first. Yes, as I know, uh, I think that you must be knowing now about control. What is control? Our brain and nervous system is controlling our body parts. Isn't it? So next we have coordinate. It is basically very similar terms. Uh, coordinate means like uh, I, I need a glass of water. I am feeling thirsty. Okay. Now my brain will send a message that I need to go and take a glass of water. Okay. So I will just go and drink water from my water bottle or I or will just drink it. Isn't it? Now this is the coordination that I felt thirsty. Yes, then my brain got a message that I'm feeling thirsty. Now my brain sent a message to me that I need to go and take a glass of water from the kitchen or I need to, you know, move my arm, move my hand to fill water and then I'll drink and I'll place the glass back. So all these things are coordination. For example, the same moment, moment I am drinking water and one child came uh, asking me some doubt about something. Yes, ma'am, I'm having doubt in this topic. So now this is my brain who will uh, uh, send a message that I need to talk to that child first or I need to finish my water first. So I'll see depending upon the situation. Yes, isn't it when we are eating food, we are watching television or we are uh, playing some game along with it. We are talking to our family members also, or friends also. So all these things are coordinated uh, along with each other beautifully. Yes, our brain is sending messages beautifully, our body is responding beautifully. As long as with God's grace we are normal, our body is normal, our body organs are working normally. Yes, so uh, control and coordination, I hope you all are clear with the topic. Now I would like to tell a gist of the chapter basically. Our chapter is being divided into two parts. Okay, the first one is animal nervous system. 
okay and the second one we'll study about the control and coordination in plants as well as we know that plants they do not have any kind of uh, organs like this the brain spinal cord nerves they do not have isn't it plants do not have these organs now how do they control and coordinate isn't it an interesting question how do they control and coordinate they are also living beings as i already told you yes they are also living beings how are they how are they able to coordinate with their body parts plants also feel thirsty or plants uh, also sometimes there is lack of water around them yes uh for example there is no rain since so long and and like we are also not watering those plants now they also need water yes they will like how will they uh, respond to that situation yes so it all again depends upon their system which is their hormonal system in human beings or in animals we have nervous systems like depending upon the stages that we read in class 9 diversity in living organisms chapter that we have different kinds of animals so the higher organisms they have these kind of systems yes but some may not have also yes isn't it so that's completely fine but in plants right now i'm talking about that plants they have a different system a complete different system which is going to control and coordinate their body activities or their needs how will a uh, plant uh, you know get a signal that they they are having some need they are um, you know you can say they are thirsty or they need something something like if they are in um, if they are feeling so hot yes so they need water yes uh, if there is too much of cold around them they do not need much water yes so it all depends upon their body systems but the difference the one difference is that in human beings or in animals we have this system nervous system but in plants they do not have nervous system okay i hope till now it is clear to you so yes to continue with this uh, we are going to now start with animal nervous system as i already told you that we have these organs in human nervous system yes brain spinal cord are coordinating with each other with the help of nerves yes and then we have muscles that are uh, basically helping in our body movements yes so these this is basically uh, you know you can say an overview of what our nervous system is now as i said brain is the first part spinal cord nerves what are all these made up of as i said that we all living beings are made up of cells cell is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms yes we have read this in class 9 also so children now as human body is made up of cells yes now what our nervous system is made up of yes our nervous system is also made up of cells basically those cells are a little bit different in shape and size and functioning okay we have those cells we name those cells as nerve cells okay c e l l s so nerve cells yes so children nerve cells they are going to constitute our complete nervous system whether it is our brain or spinal cord nerves or whatever but nerves uh, nerve cells are present in all these organs which basically is the reason uh, which basically are responsible for the formation of our nervous system okay now uh i have drawn a diagram here you must be familiar with this diagram as you have studied in class 9 also but not in very elaborate way yes it was not explained to you in such a way that you understand whole mechanism of this diagram but now as i want to i would like to explain you first first of all nerve cells are also known as neurons okay nerve cells are also known as neurons okay now uh first main part of this diagram uh, as now you tell me uh, which component of a cell is known as brain of the cell a very common question yes which component of the cell is known as the brain of the cell yes so uh, you might be knowing this or you might have forgotten no issues so a uh, nucleus of every cell is known as brain of the cell as i told you our all body movements whether it is our external body movements or internal mechanisms they are mainly regulated by our brain or nervous system 
isn't it now our nervous system as basically our uh, you know our brain is the controlling center of our body the same way the nucleus of every cell is basically the control center of that cell okay the nucleus is going to control the whole cell you can say or it is known as the brain of the cell also why because we know that we have genes inside our body you know i'll uh, i have already uh, uploaded heredity and evolution chapter also from class 10 if you have not watched those videos you can go and watch i have made the playlist you can check out so uh, the same way genes they are also present in our body and those genes are present in the nucleus of every cell that is why it is the control center of every cell okay starting with this diagram now starting with uh, nucleus nucleus the main control center of this whole cell children cell if we speak agar hum cell bolte hain to hamare mind mein ek uh, ekdam se uh, aise hum uh, usko uh, sochne lag jate hain that cell means it would be it would be a circle in shape or oval in shape it has it is having nucleus mitochondria and all that yes but the shape of the cell is not fixed yes it can be longitudinal shape also okay it has different shapes many many kinds of cells are there in our body and many of them have different shapes ओके सो अपने माइंड में ये चीज़ रखो कि यस सेल हमने एक स्टैंडर्ड उसको ओवल शेप में ऐसे करके पढ़ा था क्लास नाइन में बट स्टिल वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइम्स ऑफ सेल्स विद डिफरेंट शेप्स ओके सो द मेन फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द न्यूरॉन इज न्यूक्लियस ओके सो लुक हियर न्यूक्लियस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट इट इज गोइंग टू कंट्रोल द कंट्रोल कंट्रोल द होल वर्किंग ऑफ द सेल और न्यूरॉन नाउ वी हैव द सेकेंड वन दैट इज डेंड्राइट्स ये क्या है ऐसे रूट्स रूट्स जैसा ऐसे एक्सपैंड हुआ हुआ इट इज ऑल अराउंड दैट सेल वट आर डेंड्राइट्स नाउ चिल्ड्रन डेंड्राइट्स प्ले अ की रोल इन बेसिकली द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द सेल इन सक्सेसफुल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द सेल वट विल डेंड्राइट्स डू डेंड्राइट्स विल रिसीव ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम ऑल द सेल्स अराउंड इट ओके हियर डेंड्राइट्स आर प्रेजेंट हियर 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 एंड हियर Yes, so all around this part, this part, this whole part is known as cell body. Okay, now then rights are present here all around the cell body. What are they going to do? They are going to receive the messages or impulses from the previous cell or all the cells around it. Okay, here now uh, as we have started the nervous system of animals or humans, we are going to use some typical terms, biological terms. Here we are not going to use the term messages. I would rather say impulses, okay? So impulses receive होती हैं impulses जो हैं वो dendrites receive करते हैं from the previous neuron or the which the whichever neuron is present around them, okay? So this is the function of dendrites, okay? I hope it is clear. Yes. Now next, as I told you, the cell body, cell body is this pura part, okay, which has nucleus, this empty space, and this these dendrites. This space is not empty, by the way. I have uh, kept this diagram a little bit incomplete, so I'll just complete in a moment. Next, we have exon. Yes, exon. Children, what is exon now? Exon is again a part of the cell. Exon is again a part of this nerve cell or neuron. Dendrites. Just uh, visualize this. Imagine this. Dendrites are receiving impulses from the sides, from upside also. Okay, and they will pass the messages or impulses downwards. साइड से इन्फॉर्मेशन ली और आगे पास कर दी ओके जैसे हम किसी से किसी की बात सुनते हैं और आगे पास कर देते हैं इज एंड इट ओके सो ऐसे करके उसने आगे पास कर दिया टू विच पार्ट एग्जॉन ओके दिस इज द एग्जॉन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर टिल हियर एकदम लंबा वाला बिल्कुल सेंटर मिडल वाली लाइन जो है दैट इज एग्जॉन ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव माइल एंड शीथ so basically exon kya karega now what is the function of exon first of all exon is going to receive the impulses or messages from dendrites and it will pass to nerve endings okay these are the nerve endings or exon endings i would write uh, i will write here number 5 so these are exon endings or nerve endings means these are the end most part of the this uh, cell ओके सो एग्जॉन एंडिंग्स मींस एग्जॉन यहां पे खत्म हुआ सो एग्जॉन एंडिंग्स नर्व एंडिंग्स भी बिकॉज़ नर्व सेल यहां पे खत्म हो रहा है okay now dendrites they are receiving the impulses passing to the exon exon is going to receive the impulses from dendrites and pass to the exon endings exon endings are going to receive the impulses from exon and now these exon endings will pass the impulses or messages to the next neuron is that clear yes 
now i would uh, i'll draw a little bit uh, expanded diagram now to explain you to clear to make it more clear to you first let me tell you about myelin sheath see this is myelin sheath these small small uh, layers that you are coverings that you are seeing here uh, around the exon ye kya hai myelin sheath ye kya karti hai myelin sheath is basically protective in function the this sheath is going to protect the exon okay but uh, but this uh, myelin sheath has small gaps in between them this layer has small gaps here these gaps are known as node of renvier if you are uh, referring ncert textbook then uh, this row nodes of renvier myelin sheath these are not uh, explained much in your textbook but if you are uh, referring some icsc curriculum textbook then you might uh, you know face these terms in your textbook so children uh, listen to this more carefully now this this whole structure is neuron means nerve cell now you only think once what i have missed here as all cells you have studied about the structure of a cell so which is the most primary thing apart from nucleus that has to be drawn in the cell jo bahut easy hai draw karni aise aise karke yes uh yes i hope you get it now it is cytoplasm okay means as i know uh, i don't know whether you remember or not if like you draw cell like this hum draw karte the then we used to draw a nucleus and then hum dot 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 karke aise karke pura hum isko iske structure ko fill karte the aur we used to then uh, you know think about it then what is this we used to uh, memorize it like this is a cytoplasm it is a fluid like structure in the cell which keeps all the cell organelles alive Yes, cytoplasm is basically a fluid structure which keeps all the uh, cell organelles alive in a cell. Now you only tell me this cell is also not dead. This cell is also living. It it is also having nucleus inside it. It is also having mitochondria for energy. Yes. So this a uh, cell also has cytoplasm inside it. Okay. Here we'll do like this. A little bit dots we'll show. Okay. and these this cytoplasm as we know this is a fluid isn't it so fluid always flows so aise karke it flows and it comes in exon also that's completely normal okay now the main point cytoplasm see cytoplasm this is the term we all are familiar with it but the cytoplasm of a neuron is known as neuroplasm okay so neuron the like the word neuron it is neuron so neuron se start hota neuroplasm ban jata hai wo okay now this is a, almost a complete structure of a nerve cell now uh, just look into it try to draw once it in your notebook first and then we will continue with the chapter and now i will tell you a little bit about how the impulses actually pass okay which, which is the uh, main thing that is present for the impulses to get passed from one cell to the other one neuron to the other okay just look into it think about it whatever i have i have explained and then note it uh, draw this diagram try to draw it it is a very easy diagram I just try to draw in your notebooks and then will i'll see you in a short while okay so yes to continue with the topic now we are having a small another diagram for in which uh, with the help of which i'm going to basically explain you one more thing how actually a nerve impulse passes from one cell to the other and then how it basically enters the muscle and then muscle helps our body part movements okay first of all uh, what happens that there is uh, like this you can say i hope you can see this this is a nerve ending okay this is a nerve ending For example, as I explained you this, यहाँ पे nerve endings थी तो भी I have uh, just took this part and I have drawn it here. Okay. Now this is a nerve ending. अब यहाँ पे होता क्या है actually? जब एक uh, muscle का movement होना है तो उसमें actually uh, एक nerve muscle को कैसे move करवाता है? Okay. So यहाँ पे क्या होगा? Uh, this uh, last part, which is the nerve ending, this and this. This is basically a muscle fiber. okay our nerve cells they do not touch uh, the this um, uh, nerve endings basically they do not exactly uh, enter or touch the muscle what happens 
there is a minute space present in between the nerve ending and the muscle fiber okay there is a minute space present that space is known as synapse or synaptic cleft children here mai bada sa karke i'll write it here synaptic cleft now uh there is very thin line uh, uh difference between synapse and synaptic cleft that i'll explain you first of all uh, let us say this is a synapse now there are some chemicals released okay there are some chemicals present and they are then released and with the help of which a uh, uh, nerve ending that is not even touching the muscle fiber helps in moving the muscle fiber okay what happens here a chemical that is known as neurotransmitter a neurotransmitter is released okay one most exa uh, most important example of a neurotransmitter is acetylcholine or acetylcholine now again this is basically mentioned in icse curriculum textbook but uh, not much important from the point of view of cbse but still i would like to tell you this so that you just memorize it and you just write it down in your answers to make your answers in exam most uh, effective and like more effective okay so this is a neurotransmitter which is present between the nerve ending and the muscle fiber it is just like a chemical okay which helps in passing the information okay and then which which helps in moving the muscle okay i hope it is clear now this is known as neuromuscular junction यहाँ पे न्यूरो मीन्स नर्व सेल एंड मस्क्यूलर मीन्स मसल वहाँ पे इनका जंक्शन है दे आर कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद ईच अदर ओके टू मूव न्यूरोन इज कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द मसल्स और मसल फाइबर विद द हेल्प ऑफ नर्व एंडिंग्स टू मूव दैट मसल फाइबर ओके ना व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन साइनाप्स एंड साइनाप्टिक लेफ्ट आई विल जस्ट टेल यू इन नेक्स्ट वन मिनट टिल देन जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस एंड ट्राई टू ड्रॉ दिस ऑल्सो इन योर नोटबुक्स टू मेक इट मोर क्लियर इन योर माइंड Okay, I'll come back in one minute. So yes, children. Uh, now I will tell you first of all how basically two neurons are connected with each other. Okay, as I told you that neurons are passing messages to each other. How are they doing that? Let us see. Just I am drawing a rough diagram. For example, this is one neuron. These are dendrites, as I explained to you already. i'm drawing this diagram just to show you how can you draw this okay see yes this is a nucleus again neuroplasm or cytoplasm yes it is flowing inside also we have myelin sheath also which has small spaces in between it is not a regular covering okay now these are dendrites okay this is axon these are nerve endings or axon endings now messages are being received from the dendrites uh, of this new sorry this neuron they are passing the uh, impulses to the axon axon is passing impulses to the nerve impu uh, nerve endings now there is another neuron present here and again it's axon it's it's nerve endings and all okay in continuity now we have these dendrites now children just think and imagine this see acha first of all axon ko hum zyada broad nahi banate it's very very you can see thin okay zyada mota nahi banayenge okay now we have this cytoplasm now a uh, hoga kya abhi nerve endings jo hain yahan pe messages leke aa rahe hain and they are pa uh, passing it to the next neuron तो जो नेक्स्ट न्यूरॉन के डेंड्राइट्स हैं दे आर रिसीविंग इम्पल्स और मैसेजेस फ्रॉम दीज नर्व एंडिंग्स ओके ये अपनी मैसेजेस यहाँ पे पास कर देंगे ओके okay, यहाँ से ऐसे करके दे आर जस्ट पासिंग ओके अभी ऐसा जरूरी नहीं जिसमें इम्पॉर्टेंट कि ऐसे एक लाइन में ही सारे न्यूरॉन्स पड़े होते हैं ओके okay, इसके आ साइड्स पर भी हो सकते हैं लाइक दिस
see like this now these uh, this is like this okay now th this uh, nerve endings will pass messages to these, these dendrites these will pass uh, to these dendrites and here also many neurons are pa uh, basically present in movies or in uh, in television or in some uh, videos you must have seen kai bar aise dikhate hain ki ek mind hai usme bahut sare aise network hai ek dusre mein aise karke kuch electrical impulses aise ek dusre mein pass on ho rahi hai jisse current ek dusre se aise karke pass on ho raha hai yes ab jab hum ek mind ka view dikhate hain kai bar to aisa dikhaya jata hai to wahi hai wo ek network bana hua hai nerve cells ka jo charo taraf hai okay aisa nahi ki ek line mein bas neurons present hai ya side wise hi present hai charo taraf present okay सो so, uh, इस तरह से मैसेजेस कहीं से भी कैसे भी पास ऑन होते रहते हैं ओके दे गेट्स दे बेसिकली आर पास ऑन टू द अदर न्यूरॉन्स ओके सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर बेसिकली अभी अगर मैं इसको थोड़ा सा और क्लियर कर दूं यहां से सी ये जो नर्व एंडिंग्स हैं ये या, ये यहां पे जो डेंड्राइट है उसको मैसेज दे रही है ना लेकिन ये इसके साथ टच नहीं है दे आर नॉट टचिंग ईच अदर मीन्स वट आई एम सींग इज the nerve endings of one neuron are not touching the dendrites of the next neuron they are not touching like this they are present very closely they are in very close proximity but they are not touching okay there as i told you earlier also in neuromuscular junction there there is a fluid or a chemical which is known as neurotransmitter and here the name of neurotransmitter is acetyl कोलाइन और एसिटाइल कोलिन विच इज प्रेजेंट हीयर एंड ये एक केमिकल है फ्लूड है जो पास कर रहा है जो नेक्स्ट डेंड राइट तक इम्पल्स पहुँचाता है ओके okay. अब उस क्लोजनेस को जो इन दोनों में इतनी क्लोजनेस है दैट इज नोन एज साइन एप्स ठीक है इस क्लोज प्रॉक्सिमिटी को बोलते हैं लाइक इवन इफ दे आर नॉट टचिंग देन ऑल्सो द मैसेज आर बींग पास थ्रू साइन एप्स ओके ना वॉट इज द साइन एप्टिक लेफ्ट synaptic cleft is the actual gap present between these two neurons the minute gap that is present is the synaptic cleft okay i hope it is clear to you all now yes so uh, again uh, just i'll give you a short overview uh, till where we have completed okay one more thing is left uh, children as i told you that there are uh, some dendrites of the next neuron that are receiving the impulses okay then right so the next neuron are receiving the impulses from the previous neuron basically uh, as i told you that this uh, you see here this is a nerve ending this is a muscle fiber you can say aur yahan pe there is a little bit space in which that chemical is present okay ab wo impulses kaise receive ho rahi hain that is because of like muscle fiber is going to receive those messages na that like we are going to move our body organ any body organ let it be our arm ओके सो वो इम्पल्स रिसीव हो रही है वो रिसीव कौन करता है रिसेप्टर्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रिसीविंग दोज इम्पल्सेस नाउ दीज रिसेप्टर्स रिसेप्टर्स आर जस्ट अ स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट हेल्प्स इन रिसीविंग द मैसेजेस एंड देन आर दोज दैट बॉडी ऑर्गन विल रिएक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू इट ओके अभी रिसेप्टर्स जो हैं ये कहाँ पे प्रेजेंट होते हैं ऑल द रिसेप्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन आर सेंस ऑर्गन्स receptors are present in our sense organs as we all know we have five sense organs eyes ears nose skin and tongue yes so we have different sense organs uske basis pe uh, different receptors are there which receive for example i'm eating something ab mujhe uska taste kaisa lag raha hai whether it is very salty or it is very spicy or it is sweet ab wo kaise pata chalta hai through our taste buds ab taste buds ke upar we have receptors okay jab hum khana khate hain the message pass the message is passed to the brain ना ब्रेन विन ब्रेन विल एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली कि वो स्वीट है या हमारे टेस्ट वर्ड्स को बताता है कि वो स्वीट है या क्या है तो हमारे जो टेस्ट वर्ड्स के ऊपर रिसेप्टर्स प्रेजेंट हैं वो मैसेज ब्रेन से रिसीव करते हैं और हमें बताते हैं कि ये स्वीट था या सॉल्टी था एंड दैट इज हाउ वी फील दैट पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट ओके सो यस दीज स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स दीज स्मॉल स्मॉल एक्शन आर बेसिकली परफॉर्म बाय आर ब्रेन ओनली इन डायरेक्टली ओके Yes. Uh, next, uh, we have uh, two kind of receptors that are mainly mentioned in our textbook. We have olfactory receptors, and we have gustatory receptors. Olfactory receptors basically are present according to the uh, like in our nose. 
ओके हम हमें कैसी स्मेल आ रही है फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज लाइक ऑसम फ्रेगरेंस अराउंड अस ठीक है कुछ परफ्यूम है या कुछ रूम फ्रेशनर है तो हमें बहुत अच्छी फ्रेगरेंस आ रही है वी आर फीलिंग वेरी गुड प्लेजेंट यस सो वो जो रिसीव uh, हुई है इम्पल्स की वो फ्रेशनेस है या कोई बैड स्मेल है अगर हमारे आसपास कोई गार्बेज है कोई कोई ऐसी चीज़ है जिसकी गंदी स्मेल हमें आ रही है तो भी हमें पता चल रहा है सो so, दोज वो जो स्मेल वाले रिसेप्टर्स हैं दे आर नोन एज ऑल फैक्ट्री रिसेप्टर्स मीन्स ऑल फैक्ट्री रिसेप्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन आर नोज नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव गस्टेटरी रिसेप्टर्स गस्टेटरी रिसेप्टर्स बेसिकली टेल्स अस द टेस्ट विच एवर फूड आइटम वी हैव ईटन ओके I hope it is clear till here. Today we have completed the structure of neuron. We have done neuromuscular junction. Uh, yes, we have done structure and function of neuron also. Yes, functioning also we have completed. How the messages are passed from one neuron to the other, and basically how are how is how are the neurons responsible for the movement in all our body parts? Okay. I hope it is clear till here. In my next video, we will start with reflex actions. हाउ वी टच एनी हॉट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड किस तरह से विदाउट इवन थिंकिंग हम अपना हाथ पीछे कर लेते हैं ओके आर ब्रेन हाउ इज इट इन्वॉल्व इन दैट एक्शन क्या वो इन्वॉल्व होता भी है या नहीं लाइक ऑल दीज थिंग्स ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ इज आर ब्रेन इन्वॉल्व इन दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्शन सो दैट ऑल्सो विल स्टडी एंड ऑल्सो विल डू अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आर ब्रेन येस इन डिटेल वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आर ब्रेन सो एंड i according to me this is a very interesting chapter that we are doing isn't it like we are uh, getting to know about all our body organs uh, basically in class 10 like in this chapter particularly we are going to we are studying about the nervous system so brain kaise bana hai kis cheez se bana hai what all is present in our spinal cord how are neurons acting according to the situations like all these very interesting things now we'll proceed with the chapter soon in our next video i'll upload it soon i'll pr i'll promise to you all i know you all were waiting so i'll just upload as soon as possible thank you so much children keep watching keep supporting just do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, also my uh, previous videos playlists have been made you can go and watch and my last video link also is uploaded uh, uh, with this video okay in description you can go and watch again do not forget to subscribe my channel and like and share and of course comment thank you so much i hope uh, you all are fine so stay happy stay safe see you bye bye